welcome to another video from my comfy couch. Today I have for you a very different video for my channel. It's going to be basically my Netflix recommendations or TV shows, movies, not necessarily just from Netflix. I will be sharing from Hulu, Amazon Prime, and HBO, but most of them will be from Netflix because that's personally where I watch the most TV shows, movies, whatever you want to call it. The main reason for this video is obviously for what is going on in the world right now. I hope that you guys are staying safe and being smart about your decisions, about staying home, and that you find some TV shows and movies to binge watch during our quarantine time. Even though in the States, as of right now, today is Sunday, March 15th, we're not in quarantine just yet, but um, I do feel that we will. And hopefully people are taking it serious because I feel like in New York City, not many of us, especially the younger crowd, isn't taking it too serious. Anyways, we're not going to shine light on the negative because I'm purposely making this video to bring some positivity, distraction, and some recommendations for you guys. So without further ado, let's jump right into my Netflix TV shows and movies recommendations. Right, so if things look different, it's because it's a different day. It is my second time filming this video. Hopefully the last time, but the entire video was actually blurry. So we're gonna go for round two now. I feel like I missed a couple shows that I wanted to mention. I am obviously not going to mention every single show that I love and I have watched on Netflix because it's a long list. But for this particular video, I wanna mention the ones that I personally love and recommend and the ones that are in my list currently. I don't know exactly how I'm going to describe the shows because honestly, it could take me an entire hour or more to describe all the shows that I'm going to talk about. So I might just list some right here for you guys or this side, don't know which side yet. Um, and just write a few info or the Rotten Tomatoes and stuff like that in case you are interested in knowing a little more. All right, so quick disclaimer. If I don't mention a show in this particular video, I might be mentioning in part two of this video if you guys want me to make a part two or I just don't personally like it, so I'm not going to be recommending it. You know, um, there's many popular shows that people love and I just, I don't like. So if you don't hear that show, it's probably because of that reason. All right, first show has to go to my favorite of favorite shows on Netflix. If you know me, you already know this, and it is Money Heist. The fourth season is coming out the first week of April, and I honestly cannot wait. So yes, there's three seasons that you guys can go and binge watch. It's honestly one of my favorite shows. It is a Spanish show, like from Spain. So I would recommend for you guys to watch it with subtitles. That's the way that I watch it, just because their Spanish is very hard to understand if you're not from Spain. They use like a lot of Spaniard accents, not accents, like slang. So I personally watch it with subtitles, but the best way to watch it is definitely in Spanish. I don't recommend the English audio, to be honest with you, but I have watched it in the English audio. I've actually watched Money Heist probably like 11 times with 11 different people, not exaggerating. Like the first season for sure 11 times. So yeah, that's how much I love it. Second favorite show has to be to A Hunting in Hill House. I'm a little disappointed to mention this one, not going to lie, because I've been waiting for season two for about two years now, I think. But if you like suspense and thriller, and honestly, the cinematography in that show is the main reason why I love it so much, highly recommend it. It has amazing Rotten Tomatoes, and it was just so amazingly well done. So love it. Love, love, love it. You is another one that is very well known. I'm pretty sure most of you guys have already seen it, but if you haven't, highly recommend it. It's about this stalker or like obsessive guy that falls in love and then like does really weird, creepy things that can be really relatable to our day-to-day -day life right now. The first season was based in New York City and it's honestly really creepy to watch because it's like, it looks like something that could actually happen with our day and age right now. And then the second season is based in LA. Personally, I love the first season more, but they're both amazing and I can't wait for the third. Elite is another Spanish show. It's kind of like if you would mix Gossip Girl with Rebelde, if you saw that show in Spanish. And then you also add kind of like, what's that other? 13 Reasons Why. Like it's like a murder mystery love romance sex craziness in it and it's just it's really interesting and i love the spanish accent honestly spain is winning on the netflix shows because i have like a list of spanish shows that i love anyways there's three seasons right now the third one just came out this weekend and i'm so excited for it so 
that's definitely on my list to watch. Another Spanish show, which is actually the show that I'm currently binge watching right now, is Cable Girls. Cable Girls has five seasons on Netflix. The first part of the fifth season, it's up. And then the second part is coming out really soon, and it's the last season. So I can't wait to watch it, but at least we have... Well, at least for me, that I just started watching it. I have a bunch of seasons to watch. I am currently on season three, so yeah. Can't wait to continue to watch it because it's really interesting right now. Um, if I'm looking at my phone, by the way, it's because I'm looking at my list, so I don't forget shows to mention. The 100 is one that Eric and I binge watch like crazy. It was honestly such an amazing show. I think it has seven seasons or six. I think it has six seasons on Netflix and then the seventh, I don't know if they're even continuing the show. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have seen it because it's not a Netflix original, it's like a CW show, I think. But definitely let me know in the comments below if you guys have seen it, if you like it, and if they're coming back with another season because I think they're discontinuing the show, which if they are, it's unfortunate because I was obsessed with that show. So The 100, definitely a must watch to binge watch. Wow, that rhymed. The Witcher is a new show on Netflix, which I'm pretty sure some of you guys have probably already seen it because it's been out for a little bit, but it's based on this guy that just kills monsters. It's really hard to explain. It's really hard to understand, actually. It basically goes back in time, back to the future, present. It's like, it's all over the place, so it's hard to follow, but it's really cool and well done. Kind of reminds me of Game of Thrones and The Witcher is actually based on a video game. So yeah, highly recommend it if you are into that stuff. Dirty John is one that I was really obsessed with as well. It's only one season, but it is really interesting. It's about this, it's similar to you in a way, like a weird guy that is kind of like a stalker situation, but yeah, it's just one season and it's based in real life actually, so. All right, so I have four lighthearted and classic shows that I wanted to talk about in case you guys haven't seen them or binge watched them. They're kind of like the type of shows to have in the background to just like listen to when you're cleaning, whatever. The first one is The Office. I personally started watching The Office because of Eric, it's his favorite show, and it took me a while to fall into it because it's a different kind of humor than what I'm used to. It's really like, it's like a dry, dumb humor in a way, but it's really funny. So highly recommend it if you guys want to binge watch that show, it's super easy, short episodes. Another one like that is New Girl. New Girl reminds me of Friends in a way, which I love, so yeah, it's, it's another, you know, classic show to watch and play in the background. Schitt's Creek is another one of my obsessions. I binge watch all of the episodes, absolutely love it, highly recommend it. It's another one that it's dry humor, but it's hilarious. Like I fell in love with all the characters in that show, so definitely a must watch. And then of course, Jane the Virgin, if you haven't seen it, it's on Netflix. Um, I only watched the first season and then I fell out of it and honestly I'm glad I did because I heard the last episode or last season wasn't that good. So yeah, The Circle is a new show on Netflix. It's kind of like a reality TV show in a way with a game. It's basically this group of people that go into a building and they all live in their own apartment. They can play whoever they want. They can play themselves or catfish and no one's going to know exactly who you are in a way. Throughout the episodes they have to number their player and basically from best to worst and they start kicking people out until one is remaining at the end. It's just, it's really funny, it's really catty and I don't know. It's like a lighthearted show to watch. Lock and Key is a new show to Netflix. It's kind of similar to A Hunting in Hill House, but more Disney-like, if you want to put it that way. Basically less scary and less suspenseful, but it has some suspense in it. I watched the first two episodes and then I stopped and started watching Cable Girls and then I just, you know, black hole and forgot about it. So I'll get back to watching it, but it's another one that I recommend and it has great Rotten Tomatoes on Rotten Tomatoes. Clearly. Riverdale is a CW show. I used to watch it a long time ago and then I stopped. Maybe I'll get back to it. It's based on the Archie comics, if you're familiar with it. It has murder, mystery, romance, you know, all that, all that stuff. It's, it's really good. I like it. And also similar to it, which is a classic, is The Vampire Diaries. It's also on Netflix if you want to binge watch that. I was obsessed with that show growing up, so 
another one good to bitch watch. Society is a show that I, again, watched like three episodes of it and then I just fell out of it. I may go back to watching it because honestly, it's low-key similar to what's going on right now in a way. I don't know how to really describe it. It's just a group of teens that are left in their state and there's no sort of communication. Just watch it or read a little bit more about it in case you're interested. Queen of the South is a really good one if you're into drug dealing and narcos and stuff like that. I used to watch it with Eric and then also again fell out of it in like season three but it's really good. I hope to get back to it. Um, it is based on La Reina del Sur, obviously, if you guys are familiar with it. Another one, of course, is Narcos. I personally just love the first season, not the rest, so yeah, still a good one to watch. Documentaries that I recommend. I feel like I have a long list of, you know, like solving crimes or serial killers. I have a long list to watch, but the ones that I quickly recommend right now are Don't Fuck With Cats, really creepy, weird show not show but document the trials of gabriel hernandez is a really sad and just like hard to watch but kind of you know good to watch because it happened in real life and it's just crazy to think that parents could do such a thing if you haven't definitely recommend the ted bundy documentary holy cow that was such an amazing documentary and they also made the movie which is on netflix if you're interested with zach efron love it. I love both, but of course the one that Ted Bundy himself says, it's really interesting. So yeah, let me see if there's more here. Someone recommended the documentary on babies. I haven't watched it, but it's on my list. So good to watch if you're interested. Eric and I watched a documentary recently and I can't remember it right now, but it was another one on a serial killer, which was pretty crazy. Anyways, I have a few on my list that I'm just going to quickly go through them because I personally haven't watched them. In case you guys just want to watch it as well, I'm going to quickly mention them. Starting with Ozark is a really popular one. The Stranger, my friend recommended. I also have Containment, On My Block, Toy Boy, I'm Not Okay With This is one that has a lot of Rotten Tomatoes, actually. Gentify is a new one that I can't wait to start watching. And I also wanted to mention One Day at a Time is another one that I absolutely loved and really recommend. I think there's three seasons, if I'm not mistaken, but it's really relatable to growing up Hispanic and an immigrant in the States, and I really loved it. So recommend if you haven't watched. Now, just quickly some movies. Honestly, I wanted to mention more movies, but there's so many great TV shows that I'd rather mention that so you guys can binge watch that. What Happened to Monday is a really, really good one. It's hard to explain, but it's basically seven sisters and one goes missing. So go watch the trailer for that. Six Underground is an action movie. Reminds me a lot of Fast and the Furious, but it was a good one to watch. Outbreak is one that I have on my list and it's currently top 10 on Netflix because of what is currently going on. So in case you want to watch it, recommend it. Last one that I'm going to mention for Netflix is The Spencer. So that's another movie that you can watch if you want. All right, so quickly moving on to Hulu. I only have two to share with you guys from there. Starting with The Act, it is a based in real life show it has i think seven eight episodes and yeah it's based in real life it's really crazy it's it's hard to believe that something like that could happen and like a parent could do that to their kid but highly recommend for you guys to watch it if you're into that stuff and then also the three identical strangers documentary was so good so so good it's also based in real life basically three triplets that were separated at birth and then they find each other during their college years it's really interesting and also crazy what happened to them. Another one from Hulu that I personally wasn't going to mention because it's not on my list, it's The Handmaid's Sale. But in case you guys want to watch it during this time, I think it's great because there's a lot of seasons and the episodes are really long. So not my kind of show. I watched the first three episodes and then it was just too, too heavy for me. Too heavy. I couldn't watch it. All right, so Amazon Prime Video is honestly one of my favorite ones right now. And they have so many, so many amazing movies and shows that I highly recommend. But if you have already Amazon Prime, you automatically have Prime Video. So you can either get it on your Fire Stick or online, like, you know, on the website. And you can watch the shows and movies that I'm going to mention. So quickly for the shows, I want to start with Modern Love is based in real life. It's six different stories, I think of different love 
partners in your life. So like friends, relationship, family member, all the stories and episodes are so amazing. I honestly wish they made it into like its own little season, like each episode made it into its own little season. But my favorite one definitely is the third with Anne Hathaway. Such a deep, such a deep episode. So highly recommend that one. Another one from Amazon Prime Video is The Boys. I love the first season. I can't wait for the second. It's basically superheroes, dry humor mixed together. I don't know. Go watch. And then on my list here I have The Pale Horse is a new one. I haven't started it, but it has great Ryan Tomatoes. Hunters, another one that has great Ryan Tomatoes. I, if you didn't notice, follow a lot of the Ryan Tomatoes. Like that's how I judge a show if I'm going to watch it. So yeah. Jack Ryan has great reviews as well. I watched the first couple of minutes of the first episode and then I fell to sleep because I watched it too late. So yeah. Marvelous Mrs. Maisel has a lot of awards. So haven't seen it, but I think it's going to be a good one. It's, it reminds me a lot of Cable Girl. So yeah. Also on my list from Amazon Prime Originals is Hannah. It looks really interesting and I've heard good things about it. All right, so movies for Prime. I honestly, the only one that I want to talk about because they do have great movies is A Quiet Place. Highly recommend for you guys to watch A Quiet Place if you haven't done so. I watch it in theaters. It's honestly one of the best thrillers I've seen in a long time. It's not thriller, it's just like suspense. And it was really well done. The cinematography, the sound, everything about it was so nice. So definitely a must watch. And part two is coming out soon. Unfortunately, they did have to change the release date because of the coronavirus but hopefully it comes out soon all right so for hbo i have four tv shows that i wanted to talk about which starting with game of thrones so if you haven't jumped onto the bandwagon while it was going on i think right now is the perfect time to binge watch game of thrones even though i was very disappointed with the last season as many of us game of thrones fans so if you want to watch it, I think it's a perfect time right now, to be honest with you. I also have Chernobyl is really interesting. It's based in real life and not the same, but somewhat relatable to what's going on right now. So in case you want to watch and learn about a historical thing that happened and it's still actually still going on, definitely recommend it. Euphoria is a really well-known show, but if you haven't watched it, now is the time. It has a great story talks really really raw about um common topics so yeah i also love the makeup in that show and zendaya and then last hbo show goes to big little lies loved it and unfortunately i think it's discontinued but it was a really well done show great actresses just everything about it was so well done so all right so that is pretty much it on my quick list of things to watch and binge watch during this time i hope you guys liked it i hope you found some new shows to watch i will be listing everything down below for you guys in case you just want to copy and paste and save it to your notes thank you so much for watching follow me on instagram if you haven't done so already so we can be friends during this time stay safe and see you next time bye <laughs> And then, and then, and then,